Welcome back, Coney is here. Today I'm flying from Madison, Wisconsin Airport to Iowa City, Iowa Airport. I'm flying a Beechcraft 350i King Air. I'll be flying at a flight level of 3,500 feet. Let's go ahead and go inside, set that flight level now, 3,500. Uh, there we go. All right, and let's take off the parking brake and get started. Trying to get better at staying straight down the runway when I take off. This seemed to go okay. This is my second attempt at the takeoff. The first time I got some kind of a nasty crosswind and it threw me into the grass, so I decided to start over. Landing gear up. KA447, continue for west departure. I'll start turning towards my destination. Here. Madison Tower, KA447, continue for west departure. And flaps up. We should begin to gain some speed now. Might need to nose down just a little bit more to gain some speed here. And we're almost on course. Let's see if I can correct that. So I'm going to go ahead and engage the autopilot, turn on the yaw damper to get rid of that warning. I haven't figured out how to assign a button to that yet. K-447 leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Alright, so here we Madison are. Madison Tower K-847 frequency change. I set the view and grab my Xbox controller. Southwest of Madison, 2,600 feet. That's Request a really beautiful view. Transition Charlie airspace. Not really familiar with this area. I reinstalled the game recently and I lost all my liveries, so I need to reinstall those. So I'll just pick one other than the default, but at least it's somewhat nice. I like that view as well, all the water in the background. Okay, I'm going to throttle up. We're not getting a lot of speed. We could actually be going quite a bit faster. Up. See where we get to. Go inside and make sure that those warnings are not coming on about the temperature. I'm not seeing anything there. It is warning about pedo heat. I'll turn that on. Um, there we go. Got rid of that warning. Go back outside. Just did a barometric adjustment, so that's going to alter our altitude a bit. It's a beautiful day for flying. Okay, we've leveled up. I'm going to pull the throttle back to 50%. See if we can maintain this speed. Might have to bring it up just a little bit. 
wouldn't mind keeping it around 240 or so. So I guess we need to push it back up. Just don't want it to go into the red. Going nuts, causing some warnings. KA447 radar so let's see where that puts us. Push it a little bit more. Three zero decimal one eight. Three zero decimal one eight. Roger KA447. Usually the torque, I think. Oops, I just hit the left stick. I think it'll be all right though. On the Xbox controller. Anyway, uh, the torque usually. Starts warning first. Everything looks stable. Really have to be careful with the Xbox controller and that left stick because that's your flight stick. I forget when I'm in the cabin to do that. Well, I wouldn't mind exploring with the showcase camera. plane go off on its own, or go past it, I guess. That's interesting. Almost looks like a golf course, or a racetrack, or something. I do really wonder what this is. Maybe it's just an agri agricultural thing, striping of some kind. Interesting. You'd expect this area to be a lot of flat farmland. Here's the plane somewhere nearby. Really hard to see unless you're right next to it. Oh, I love that snaking, uh, snaking water down there. That's nice. 
check on the plane. Alright, airspeed at 240, that's fine. Altitude's right, bearing's right. Where's that striping? I really wonder what that's about. Maybe um, it's a way of alternating crops or something. Nice if you could find out how high up you were in the showcase camera. Somewhere I saw it referred to as the screenshot generator, which I guess makes sense. Not much to listen to. If I get closer, we should hear birds or something, maybe traffic. curious what this aerodrome is. It's probably just a piece of dirt. Yes, it is a piece of dirt. It works though, I'm sure. Um, take my uh, ultralight off uh, in that. Okay, let's reset it back to the plane. Go back inside for a minute. Chicago Center on 133 decimal 9 or 5. 133 decimal 9 or 5K A447. Glad Chicago the Center K-A447, autopilot You really ought to be able to have passengers in the back and feel responsible for making their ride smooth and things like that. It's always fun to play with the camera angles with the drone. 
got a good speed going. Check those gauges inside. They seem to be okay. I have a ways to go before we get to the airport, but we are going nice and fast. It's just amazing sometimes. Really creates that feeling of being inside the cabin. Alright, let's go back outside. Let me reset the view first. And just do a little bit more looking around. A lot of water. So I learned something new just now looking at the panel inside. I can put the flaps partway down much faster than I thought. It looks like around 200 knots. I can put the flaps down partway. The 158, which is where the line, the white line starts, that's for them being down all the way. So that's good to know. I can slow down more easily once I get towards the airport by putting the flaps down a lot earlier. That striping going on, I really would like to find out what that's all about. It's a really interesting view. Sometimes I wonder if I'm not getting the full learning experience by spending a lot of time in autopilot, but I feel like what that would really amount to is a bumpy ride. I should probably work on smoothing out the ride. I'm really more focused on safely controlling the plane and especially takeoffs and landings. But at some point I probably should try to 
really fly nice and smooth by hand. Let's see what that's like. See if I can do it. Seems like the autopilot system has more information and can react sooner. spot on the map. I don't know what that was. Didn't see anything back then. Maybe it was a big body of water. kind of controversy going on over Captain Sim liveries for my Microsoft Flight Simulator. I think that's what I had installed, one of his Mega Packs or something. So at this point, I don't know what to do. I, I would rather download legit content and not worry about making people upset or violating their copyrights. So I need to look into that a little bit more. smooth flying day. Not much to do at the moment, except make sure we keep going straight and safe. Could take the drone out, dip down, and take a look at things. This time I'll stay connected to the plane. Especially as you get close to having to land, so you can tell where you are. I'm not actually sure where I was in relation to the plane. Can I see it? Oh yeah, it's right overhead. That's an interesting shot. I don't know, maybe you can only see that in 4K. Alright, here we are. A lot of flat growing land, it looks like. Kind of surprised a lot of it seems to be trees and shrubs versus crops. It's also not quite as flat as I would have expected. See some kind of a watering hole or something over here. something very peaceful about this. Birds in the background and all the other noises. Okay, I'm going to reset it on the plane. I'm going to start slowing us down. 
get ready for landing soon. So drop the throttle to 50%. It was up at like 78% or So we're at the 200 knots mark. I think it's a little early to put the flaps down. But I think we can stay at this speed for a while. Okay, I'm going to disengage autopilot, take over from here. I'm going to slow it down a bit more. So I maybe drop to 45% on the throttle. in view over the cockpit, over the dashboard. Yeah, we'll put the flaps down part way, see what it's like to put them down this early. Since I know it's okay to put them down at this speed, you have to push hard on the stick to keep from going up. Okay. So that'll slow us down. It's working. That's what we want. Yes, we're changing altitude, I do need to nose down. So let's drop a little bit of altitude there. Okay. Seems to be getting very bumpy. OK, 
Okay, my goal is to slow down enough to put the flaps down the rest of the way, so I'm going to drop the throttle a little bit more. Because we also need to drop altitude at the same time. I feel like I'm probably doing a lot of stuff wrong, but I, my goal here was to learn it on my own by flying, so I'll keep doing that and then f kind of fine-tune what I know by watching tutorials and things. Um, I find I learn, though, by trial and error the best. Especially error. <laughs> Dropping a little more altitude, the landing pattern is going to be lower than where we are. Still not slow enough to put the flaps down the rest of the way. We'll be landing very soon, so I do need to get the speed down. Just a little bit more, and now I think I can put the flaps down all the way. Landing gear. Landing gear. And landing I guess the landing gear. gear. Landing gear. That would be a good idea. And let's give it some throttle. It was computing landing gear because we were on a, I guess, a crash landing course. Because I hadn't pushed up on the throttle yet. But it's not a bad idea to have those down. Alright, I've got the throttle now at the halfway point. Uh, get my speed up by dropping some more altitude. I have both hands on the stick. I don't have a yoke. I kind of wanted a yoke. I think the stick is a little bit more versatile. So when I do need both hands, I can just pile them both on and use it that way to get less overcorrection. Pilot will shortly make arrangements to get on the ground. Dropping some more altitude, trying to get our speed up. I think I will give it some more throttle with the flaps all the way down, pushing a lot of air down instead of behind you. So we are dropping in speed quite a bit. make a turn to get into the landing pattern, I'm not sure. Oscar Whiskey Traffic KA44711 miles northeast 2,800 feet inbound to land runway 25. Uh, return right now. Let's head in that direction. Give us some more throttle. Usually the landing p entry is lower. Anyway, 
anyway, we're in good shape. It's not a problem. Feels like the plane's burning a lot of fuel to support those flaps, which is fine. This is what we want. It's going to tell us we're going too fast. I will drop throttle as soon as we make the turn. Okay, I'm going to drop throttle to fifty percent. See where that gets us as we start descending. Kilo India Oscar Whiskey Traffic KA447 is on final runway 25 to land. Okay, so I want to stay towards the right side, keep the runway centered in my visual field. Too fast. Okay, I'm going to pull back the throttle to about 40%. Don't want to nose up too much. It's all too fast. Drop it some more, maybe that's, I don't know, 35% or something. This feels like a nice smooth descent. I would like to be going a little bit slower though. I'm going to drop throttle some more. Air seems to be calm at this level. Not sure if I heard the 500 yet. I don't think so. That'll be coming up probably in this darker area up here. Dropped throttle just a little bit more, trying to keep that speed within a certain low range. I could be going just a bit slower. Okay, I'm continuing to nudge it down a little bit at a time, trying to see if I can get the speed down without it getting down too much. Feels like we're on a good path right now. Okay, I'm going to drop it all the way, see where that gets us. And this might be too much. Okay, I think this will be okay. Alright, I'm just going to try to hover. It does feel awfully fast coming in, but that's really all you can do is just come in fast and I need that rudder to turn me. It's not turning me. Okay, well I'm down. Got the brakes on, so... It wasn't a clean landing, but it was an okay landing. 
I mean, obviously you want to stay on the runway, but just had a very difficult time with that there at the end. Um, so at this point, oh, I guess I go here, okay. That differential braking. There we go. Okay, let's stop. Need to put the flaps up, turn the autopilot stuff off, and contact ground. Now it's clear runway. Okay, so it's like Kilo India Up Oscar Whiskey Traffic KA447 is clear of the runway. I just need to go park somewhere. Let's see, is that true? Is there another option? No. Okay. Let's just go ahead and taxi our way somewhere. really sure why I had trouble keeping it on the runway at the very last minute. I'll have to go back and look at that and see. But like some wind came by or maybe it, the plane was already a little unstable and I just going too slow to have enough authority over the plane at that point. I feel like that's probably the more likely explanation. Alright, so I should probably stop and look and make sure there isn't another plane coming. Alright, the Xbox controller went to sleep, so I'll use the trackball. Can't really tell, but it's only a video game, so who cares. Figure out where I'm supposed to park. Okay, I just turn over here and park somewhere. Yes, there's another runway. Well, I guess I was supposed to do something. I'll just take a shortcut through the grass. I keep seeing a lot of jet fighters parked at airports when I park. Makes me want to be able to get out of this plane and take off with one. Alright, am I going to be able to turn here? I guess, I guess, I guess that kind of worked, I don't know, not sure where to park. I'm just going to park here. Okay, parking brake, engine off, I'm going to try something, see if my Logitech, if I switch it to off, will that make the engines turn off? I don't think so. There's no button to activate whatever you sweat set it to, so I doubt they're actually turning off, so I'll have to use the keyboard. There we go. Okay, now you can hear them turning off. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. Oral warning, okay. Okay, wait for those to turn off, and they're off. Turn off the plane. And nothing happened. Usually it... Engaging autopilot. <laughs> okay, usually at this point, 
it ends the round. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.